doing that right. And I'm Deontay B. And welcome to Gwen's Business Corner with Deontay B. Hey, girly. Hey, girl. Do you know that we are less than 30 days before the new year? We are. And it's so amazing because it's like this year just flew by. Oh, my God. It's just flew by and I think I'm so excited about the end of the year right because you know I just actually realized that we are going into a new decade like that is absolutely crazy I'm like time time has really flew by yes and we're going into a whole nother decade so 2020 all right I am so excited and then you get ready to turn 40 girl turn up turn up turn up yes (laughs) 40 is fabulous hey did you notice that 2020 is 40 like that's crazy I know 2020 is 40 that's crazy you're right right I see other people talking about it on their page (laughs) (laughs) and you know what I'm excited about today's guest too because they call her the game changer Right. When you think about a game changer, what do you think about? I think about 2020. Exactly. exactly. I think about 2020 because it's definitely going to be a game changer for us over here. Yes. But I think I'm excited about her as well because her whole focus is kind of what we focus on, which is exactly. reaching for your dreams. Yes. So y'all know Richard Dreamer we have our Christmas party, but our guest, she has a company that just focuses on teaching you how to build your dream and a lot of times we talk about our business and you know different types of things but she identified that it is actually your dream that you're actually building and living and so I think from that perspective that's just really good and so not only do she have a company that talks about dream building she is an attorney so we have Mrs. Kim Whitehead attorney entrepreneur and author come on yes. mrs kim yes come how on are to you the ladies how are you? How are you? how are you you look real pretty thank you yes it's a blessing ready, to be with ready, you ready to game change <laughs> ready to game change <laughs> awesome so we're gonna jump right into it that's my special line <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> so let's talk about you and these dreams. So what was the inspiration about, around your creation of the Lush Dream Group? And then you have the movement of Demand the Dream. So what inspired you? So I really believe that we all live our lives through our core genius. It is something that most people don't realize that they do, but everyone realizes that you do it. And so for me, I've always been a dream connector. My friends have dreams. I'm the one like, here's Mm. the telephone number. I call the person, go talk to them, go do this. And so it's very natural for me to do that. I started as an attorney about 16 years ago now. Wow. Tell my age. Okay. I turned 41, so I'm with you. Okay. (laughs) A couple of weeks ago. Exactly. And just looking at, you know, sometimes when I'm talking to these clients, I get very excited in the why. You want to do this, you want to do that, but why do we want to do it? What does that mean to you? What is it going to bring to you? Because ultimately, then they start opening up and get excited. And now you're like, here we go. Now I can really, really help you in your dream. And so I'm sitting here and, you know, big law firms. I was practicing in Washington, D.C. at the time. And I'm like, you know what? I feel like I need to bring this to the masses. Not everyone is going to be able to sit and pay $450, $500 an hour and talk to an attorney about your dreams, right? Right. So what can I do? And so Lux Dream Group was formed through that, just really taking that and um, building my brand as the dream strategist, helping people understand that there is a process and there is a system to go from good to great. Exactly. Um, I've been listening to... I do it all the time, but listen to a lot of motivational speakers. I just because I like to stay motivated. Mm-hmm. And the thing about having a dream that mm-hmm. people don't get is every dream has to have a plan. Yes. Right? Yes. And you can't make that dream come to pass if you don't have a plan. So absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you. It is amazing. So you have several five-star books. Mm-hmm. One entitled Buried Waters, mm-hmm. which I can't wait to see hear about because when I think of the title Barry Waters, it's just it takes you into where you're really thinking yes. a lot. Yes. So what was the inspiration behind your book, Barry Waters? And also how what steps did you take as far as getting it published? Because so many people mm-hmm. want to be authors. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. That's a great question. The Buried Waters experience is something that all entrepreneurs go through. 
And more importantly, it's something that we all go through as men and women, just in your personal life. And it's that time when you're walking out your dream and you're like, okay, God, you told me to go do this. I right. went out and now it looks like it's falling apart. Mm-hmm. It looks like everything possibly that could go wrong, going wrong. You've got debt. You're going backwards. You have a divorce. Things are going on with your children. So much is happening and you're like, I could have just stayed where I was, mm-hmm. right? And so everyone's going through that and you feel like these this living water that you're pushing out your dream with is completely buried. Mm-hmm. It is the Beyonce world stop that we don't want to talk about, right? <laughs> right. We like the world stop experience where everyone's looking at us. But the buried waters experience, you want to hide You want to just go away from all of this. And the thing is, everyone who's done something phenomenal goes through this process. And it's important because we have our dreams, but God's giving us a glimpse. Mm. You know, we dream big, he dreams bigger. And so sometimes we get to the point where our vision, the way we're living our lives, our mindset, he can't go any further Mm. with that. He needs to shift some things. So that he can expand us and really take us to where we want to go. So it is an important place to be in. It's a necessary place to be in. It can be a painful place to be in, but it's a shifting place. And so helping people understand before they get there, this is the process. Mm -hmm. Embrace it. Find peace in it. And come on the other side. That's amazing. That's deep. So let's elaborate a little bit more on that because I'm sure in your book, you probably, because you're a strategist, you talk about different strategies when it comes to, I call it the dark place, but it's Mm -hmm. definitely the buried, being buried in water. So what would be some strategies you would give to someone who's experiencing that? Because at the end of the day, like you just said, Mm -hmm. most people, um, adversity comes with success yeah and so anytime you take the strength to challenge yourself to actually live your dreams Mm -hmm. you're gonna have to feel that i don't care who you are so what advice would you give to someone who is going through that i think the most important thing is to understand that we have to shift from doing to being Mm-hmm. And that's really, really hard when you're successful because you are about getting it done. You're about just really showing up and being on time and being amazing. But in this shift, it's a time to be still. And that's really hard for us. Right. We have to sit there in our stillness and you're feeling all your feelings and you're embracing everything that's happening. But understand that that's where expansion comes. It's an inside out process. So I think the first strategy that I would give to someone who's in that is to find a still place. Mm -hmm. 15, 20 minutes of absolute nothing, no phone, no answering anything and be happy that you chose this time for you. That's sort of the biggest thing when you are doing your giving and then purpose is not for you, it's for someone else. Mm -hmm. But you're so used to giving, 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 giving that to take the time in your own brokenness, in your own pain, in your own disappointment or disbelief and say, I can sit with this and it's okay. That's the first thing. Because when you start getting used to this discomfort, you start really experiencing the things that God has for you. He's going to start whispering to you. He's going to start giving you peace in this process. Mm -hmm. And without that, you can't even go through the rest of the steps. So that's the first thing I would say. I love it. I love it. That's very, very powerful because just the fact that you said be still. Mm -hmm. And I know for me, that's like the hardest thing in the world. Like I'm just all, both, all of us, we're Mm -hmm. just always just going, 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 going. And it's just, if you don't stop, God will make you be still. Yes, right. Like it's like he'll he'll just make something happen that you just don't have no choice. Exactly. You just have to exactly. And I think one of my things, I think we I put it on Facebook a couple of weeks ago as far as what are some of the habits that I'm gonna adopt for 2020. And since then for 30 minutes a day mm-hmm. has been one of the things that I decided that I'm going to adopt. I'm not gonna pick up my phone, I'm not right. gonna be on a computer, I'm not gonna answer no emails. Right. I'm just gonna lay still. Right. Yes. And meditate and really just take whatever I'm going through that day or the beginning of the day, the middle of the day, the end of the day, just take it in because you can't keep going and living these dreams, honey, because exactly. we got to be in the water. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so you took it a step further. Mm-hmm. So you have workshops and courses mm-hmm. that did dive in deeper into these dreams. So tell us a little bit about your workshops and courses and how do you how you utilize those to assist the people. 
Sure. So the general um, brand that I use, I'm all about the trademarks, we'll get into that, right? But I'm all about branding these different things and helping people understand that. So Dream Studio is where we normally do our workshops. Okay. Um, and so we'll take Dream Studio anywhere that it needs. Mm. Whether we're in Atlanta, we're going to do it in, in um, New York and LA next year in 2020. And so it's just the concept of helping you sit there and build. You know, mm-hmm. in a workshop environment, taking the time. I am very much about the actual work. Mm, right. So a lot of times we get motivated, we get inspired, and then we need something else to motivate us. We need something else to inspire us. And that's important. But with that, we're going to do inspiration, motivation, strategy, and a result. Mm-hmm. So Luxstream Group is all about the acceleration mm-hmm. of your result. And in those workshops, we do that. Um, September and October, we just finished a mastermind series, which was six weeks. And people saw that. They saw session to session that they were really getting systematic results and processes. And that's important Mm -hmm. because a lot of times you're there and you're kind of like, I'm moving, I'm moving forward. But where is the results? Where are the steps that show me that this is the right path for me? So we're very focused on that. And people understand when they see the strategies that this is right. This is designed to get me to this step. This okay. is designed to get me to this step. So I'm not just moving forward in my dream aimlessly. Mm-hmm. I'm moving forward in a dream that goes from good to great. So a lot of times I take my clients through a consulting model called the capability model. Mm-hmm. And what that is, is a lot of Fortune 500 companies bring in all these expensive consultants to help them be even better. And you learn from those who are at the top of their game, what they're doing to be fine. I like to say to pivot mm. and tweak because it's usually not a big change. Right. It's something that you can just adjust and it gives you actually greater and greater results. So we help people go through that. In the processes of that, we go from ad hoc, which is where you're doing things, you're trying something. Let me do a podcast today. Let me do a blog right. tomorrow. Let me do this, right? Let me go and meet people and do events. But it's just kind of random. Right. And you're going through there and you're doing stuff and you feel like things are working, but it's not a system. And so you go through that to something a little bit more defined and you say, okay, Monday is a podcast day, right? Wednesday is blog day. It is a reason why you're doing it this way. And then we talk about being repeatable. Mm -hmm. And that's really important because I always say that greater success creates a greater demand, right? So at some point, you're going to have to be able to pass some of this stuff off, right? Right. You're going to have to be able to be in a certain rhythm so that when new things come, you're not feeling challenged. Because, you know, Monday is a podcast day, you know, and so you're in a repeatable system and then you go into managed. Managed means you have your people, your team, you're doing different things. People understand what to expect from you, what they come for you for, and then you get it to optimize and optimize is where it just stores. Mm -hmm. So it's the feedback. It's the people coming to say, you've changed my life. You know, I was going to do this and then I read this book and that encourages you more and more. So we take people through this journey on every single session, no matter what topic the workshop is on. So what I'm going to say to the viewers, like what she just walked you through was absolutely gems. Yes. Those were yeah. absolutely gems because the way you broke it down mm-hmm. is absolutely the way business is supposed to operate. Right. right. And, you know, a lot of times we're juggling each day, mm-hmm. right? And the reason why people go in circles and be like, oh, I'm not getting nowhere. Right. I can't get no clients. I don't feel like I'm moving. is because you're not doing those steps. Mm-hmm. So even if you're watching this, I want you to go back You know, do a replay on this video because she broke down absolutely everything that you're supposed to do. And it's crazy because I've been in business for 13 years and I'm one of those people that are always doing, 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 Mm -hmm. doing, doing. And then I realized, okay, I do strategy, right? And I was like, okay, I'm doing all this strategy. Like, why am I not moving the way I need to move? And then it dawned on me, I never had the results. Mm outline Mm -hmm. okay i know what i'm doing i think i know where i want to go but it wasn't defined right and then now that i've implemented the strategy and the results now i can see clearly where i'm going and so that was good that was some good stuff that was some good stuff okay so let's talk about you being an attorney for Mm -hmm. 16 years 15 years and then you transitioning to um 
a private firm mm-hmm. that does something similar, but you're into consultations. Yeah. What was the challenges? So some of the bigger challenges is, especially when you're shifting brands, right, to help people understand the shift. But what I love is that it was also a challenge for me because being a patent attorney is something there's only 3% of attorneys that are patent attorney. So I was 23 when I became a patent attorney, young black female. We're all scientists. Nobody looked like me. And so I was kind of like, God, you know, but I worked my whole life for this, you know, to be this and be exquisite in this. You want me to expand in that? You feel like you're losing something a little bit. You say, no, just trust me. Mm. And so what happens in here is, of course, when I'm talking about building brands and I'm talking about building your dream, we're starting to talk about patents and trademarks. So you never leave what God has imparted into you. So it took a little while for me to just give into the dream and understand he's going to see something bigger than I saw just being confined as an attorney. Now I get to be all things that are really me. Absolutely. I can see that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell for the viewers, because so many viewers, like they hear the word patent and they hear the word trademark, but they don't really understand what that means to their business or what that means to their product. So can you define those terms just so they're, you know, just so they're actually learning? Because I I mean, I know I know the name I I, I have I have had to learn Mm -hmm. what the names mean, you know, because of the things that I do. But initially I would just hear the word and be like patent trademark. Like, what is that? So exactly. And when you think about it, again, only three percent, you know, are teaching this. It's very important to do what you just asked and break it down. So I always like to talk about intellectual property. That's what it is. It's essentially the equivalent to real property. You know, you look at your houses, your hotels and different things of different values and different purposes. So when you're thinking of a trademark, a trademark is something that helps the public, a customer who wants to find out how to go about doing X. They want to be able to not just know about the service and the product, but to associate you with it. So we have the check mark for Nike, right? Everyone knows you can see the check mark. You don't have to know if it's an Air Yeezy, an Air Jordan, <laughs> nothing. You know, this is a Nike brand, right? That's what trademarks do. It provides a sort of a model, a slogan, or a logo that helps you understand who the source of the product mm-hmm. is. And that's really important, especially for entrepreneurs, right? right. We're not billion dollar brands yet, <laughs> right? but we are companies and people that people need to know, okay, when I come to Gwen's Business Corner, this is what I'm going to get, right? Right. There's something associated with your brand and that's what trademarks help to do. Patents, on the other hand, are about the actual product. You can get a patent on a process. You can get a patent on a composition. So if you have a new makeup line, it's just amazing. It makes your face go back 10 years, right? (laughs) You can get a patent on that. And you can get a patent on the method of doing something, an actual Mm -hmm. system of way things work. Mm -hmm. So that is to protect the actual process, the invention, the system, the actual thing. Um, Patents are for a lifetime of 20 years. So the government is giving you exclusivity for 20 years to do this. And in exchange, you give it back. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times that's why we have drugs that go off market. That's where generics come from. Mm -hmm. Wow. yeah, because this company spent billions of dollars in research. They got to make all this money for 20 years, and now they're giving it back. So we're able to now, you can make Tylenol if you want to. <laughs> you could get it for yourself. You can, because that process has been given, and you're literally getting the recipe in the patent to see how to do that. Right. Um, and so it's an interesting way, because this is how our company, our country rather, was founded. All of these entrepreneurs were coming in, building something big, and they wanted to leave back something greater. So that's where the system comes from. And trademarks, you get to renew your trademark every five years as long as you're continually using it. Wow. So I guess with me, I, I can see where I can't understand where the trademark part comes in there because we, we've studied it, we heard that. But a lot of people don't talk about the patent. Mm-hmm. So what... At what point do you feel like a person would say, okay, I need to patent this? 
So I always talk um, with the results in mind, right? We were talking about that. And so before I even go into work with a client, what are you trying to do with your business? Okay. And then you start to hear what people are wanting to do. And then I ask them, what's the end look like? I'm like, what do you mean? I'm going to do this forever. Right. You're not going to do right. this forever, right? <laughs> so there's a goal. There's a goal. You want to pass it down to your kids. You want to become a franchise and license it out. You want to make, there's a certain amount of money where you're like, I'm just going to go live my best life. And whoever wants to buy this can buy this. There is an end. And so the bigger the end is going to be, particularly if you're going to pass on to other people or you're going to do a franchise or something where someone takes it to the next step, it's important to patent and trademark Mm -hmm. because that way you know that the next person has a protected vision. Mm -hmm. So that's really what's really important. Um, As soon as you start thinking what's next, money, these companies are billion dollar companies, not because they're selling products and services, but because they have intellectual property. Mm. It is 90% of a billion dollar company's net worth. And wow. Apple and Samsung have been fighting for like 20 years because they just licensed little pieces of the phone to each other. That's it. Mm. That's it. Right. And so you think about that. It doesn't take a world changing idea to make a lot of money. When we talk about the pivots and tweaks in your life, it's different things of how can you make this a little bit better? How can I make this water filter a little bit better? How can I make this makeup brush a little better? Mm -hmm. Those are the things that people will gladly pay you for. And so I always say everyone has a million dollar idea that we're just like, let it pass. You're like, how am I going to do this? It might not be for you to do it. It might not be for you to build it. It might be for you to patent it and sell it mm-hmm. and let somebody else do it. Girl, you said that she yeah. did. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, now that it went, it, that last part went ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Yes. Okay, I got it. Okay. Yes, yes. So what are some of the services that you provide? Because so many people, like we just talked about, like just about everybody has something that they need to patent mm-hmm. or trademark. They might not know it yet. So what are some of the services that you provide as far as patent and trademark? So the first thing I do is I do what's called a um, prior art search. Okay. And so when I sit down and get enough of your idea where I kind of understand where you're going, I'll go look at prior patents or prior trademarks and see what's out there. Okay. I'll also go look and research a little bit into your industry. Because a lot of times um, what they're looking for is you have an examiner, it's an actual person that's sitting there and negotiating with your attorney and saying, okay, I represent the patent and trademark office, right? They're serving as the gatekeeper. They don't want to give exclusive rights to somebody, something that's already out there. Mm. So they are literally going through the same process of looking at what you submit. I want to make sure you have a high likelihood of success, right? I don't want you to invest in this five to $10,000, $15,000 journey over two years and then come and find out you should you know, never have started this. This has been out for forever. Right. So that's the first thing. And I, I really like walking entrepreneurs through this step because once you get excited, you want to go. Right. Right. You want to get it done. You want to just <laughs> move forward. But the clearance, the clearing the land, and I talk about this in life too, clearing the land is the important step. You want to make sure you have this space and presence to go. Mm-hmm. And then a lot of times what ends up happening through that is we refine the vision. So there are things when you think about having a patent for 20 years, you actually have to be a little bit of an artist as a patent attorney and kind of foresee the future. So you want to make sure like, hey, we're coming up with a device to play music. I'm going to patent in the broadest sense a device to play music. I'm not going to say it's a phone. I'm not going to say it's a watch. I'm not going to say it's glasses because in 20 years, we're going to do all of that. Right. But I'm going to give you the basic structure so that as life evolves and technologies evolve, you're still covered. So it's very interesting. You are literally bringing the law. You bring some science to it and also a little bit of wordplay. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. No. I know. I, li- I like it because you're giving like everything you need basically to be successful to, yes yeah. to get that dream where it needs to go it's just like you just got all the pieces of the puzzle yeah and the right people on the team you know people that have been there before um i had a very interesting route as a patent attorney most of the time you're focused on one specific part one specific piece of science or you're focused on one specific part of the process 
So parts of the process that help you go through and get the patent is called prosecution. Sounds criminal, but it is. <laughs> and then you have the next part, which is enforcing it, right? Now you have something protected. And this is where I see entrepreneurs stop. They get it. And they're not on social media looking to see who's using their hashtags. They're not on social media looking to see who's using their marks, right? And I cease and desist all the time. I'm like, okay, you know, here you go. But that's really important because it's up to you to protect the vision. And then there's litigation and licensing things out. So I actually have worked on all of those sides. So I can see the system play itself out. Right. And so when I realized that, going back to your question, why... I transitioned into Lux Dream Group. God was saying, I put you in those places to see the system. Right. So you can help people see the system. Exactly. Right. And that's kind of mm-hmm. like what I got from all of it, from the play. Yeah. From when we started interviewing you mm-hmm. to the end, it, it like all came around full mm-hmm. to the to the business. Yeah. So you started out as a attorney. So we could have talked to you all day because I have a lot of questions. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but we got to get ready to go. But before we go, tell the viewers how they can find you. Like if they're trying to live your their dream and they feel like, okay, I got this dream. Um, I've been to all these different coaches, but right. I really want some results. How do they find the Lux Dream Group? So you find Lux Dream Group on social media is the place that we're most prevalent. You'll see our daily dream strategies via at, Dan, at Demand the Dream is our handle. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Also, you can go to our website, demandthedream.com. So everything is demanding your dream. There you can find our classes. We have some online courses that you can take, our books, and of course, consultations with yours truly, the dream strategist. Oh, well, thank you so much. For thank you for having me. I know, and for being the game, the real game changer. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for allowing me to help change the game. <laughs> okay, y'all. So we're getting ready to get out of here. But before we go, you got to make sure less than a week from now, Reach for Your Dreams, Inc. will be hosting our 11th annual toy giveaway and Christmas dinner. You still have time to make a donation through our campaign, Give $11. And you can do that by cash apping us at R4YD or by paypal.me backslash reach for your dreams. Also, y'all know it's December, but we're right around the corner to tax season, mm-hmm. our other Christmas sign. <laughs> so, okay, make sure you check out Expert Tax Service. You know, we're located in Columbus, Georgia, and we're also located in the Stone Mountain area. And we can do taxes all around the nation in all 50 states. So, definitely check out our virtual tax service at www.expertaxservices.com. And again, we'll be offering, offering refund advances, loans starting January the 2nd. So inbox us. Let us know what you want to do. Let's get ready for tax season. <laughs> and I'm out. My name is Gwinnetta Wright. If you're looking for me on social media, you can find me on social media on Gwinnett, Gwinnetta Wright on all social media outlets. My tongue and tie good. Tell them how to find it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can find me at all social media outlets at The Real Deontay B. And we want to continue to encourage you to get ready to kick the door in for 2020, be in the game changer. This is Gwen's Business Corner with Deontay V. Bye for now. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>